All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in our home away from home. It's been a while since I did a video, or I have done a video, but uh, one of the things I wanted to do was show you guys this right here. What is in the box? This is one of those uh, subscription boxes. Uh, and this particular one is from the guys over there at Barrel and Blade. And I'll be honest with you, uh, if you're into subscription boxes, this is probably one of the better ones to be in. Uh, first of all, you've got two levels. One's the $49.99, the other one's is $99.99. And I believe this guy right here is the $99.99. But this month, it was so big that they had to put it in a bigger box. Now, I've already opened this thing, and I gotta be honest with you, I'm tickled pink. Now, one of the other things I'm gonna do, uh, last month, didn't get a chance to issue the or publish the video that I did last month, so at the end of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the end of this thing. That had to be one of the best boxes out there. Uh, one of the reasons why they had a uh, level 3A armor, uh, soft armor plate from Vism which, by the way, did a really, really good job. Uh, secondly, there were there was uh, the extendable uh, baton, a lot of cool stuff. So check out that video. And again, like I said, if you're into these kind of things, um, this is probably one of the best boxes out there. So let's do this. I'm going to show this to you. Now, I've already opened it because uh, I get all excited when I do see these things. It's kind of like Amazon, but uh, you get a lot cooler stuff. Now, I know what you're thinking. A lot of people are like, uh, you know, I'd rather pick out my own stuff and I totally get it, but there are some people out there who really get into this kind of thing. So let's do this. Here we go. Open it up. Now this, I believe, is the $99.99 box, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So what is this one? All right, so Operation Shit Hits the Fan Fishing. S-H- TF fishing. All right. So if you're wearing the survival things, actually, I got a stream about a hundred meters that way uh, that I went down yesterday to see because they said there were some trout down and I think eh, I didn't see anything. I sat there for about an hour, actually just relaxing and enjoying life. Over 2,000 people get lost in the wilderness each year for anywhere from one day up to 90 days, according to a study conducted by the Smoky Mountain Park Association reviewing data spanning 25 years. Yeah, most of these occurrences happen two day hikers all right so in any case let's just keep going um what do we have here so you get level one level two uh, and again i think this is level two box you've got a poly stringer you know what that is you run it through the gills and back through the mouth and you're able to let the fish swim around this is one of the ways that uh you can keep your fishies alive good stuff uh what else we got hold on what is that thing supposed to go for <laughs> Danielson Voodoo beat of the multicam. Hmm. I don't even think that's on there. All right. So what else we got? We got Eagle Claw. Uh, these are the uh, split shot weights. Uh, and if you need to, you can melt these down, make some bullets. They're right. Okay. Then what else we got? We have Snell's Plain Shank American Made Fish Hooks. You need the fish hooks if you're going to do some fishing. Best way to do fishing actually is if you're out there. Uh, find some grub, some worms, get you a bobber, throw a line in, you can hook it on the end of a pole. Uh, bam, dinner. Perfect. Okay, what else we got here? This is the, no, multicam cool, oh, multicam cool Donna. This head and neck tie provides hours of cooling relief. Soak it in cold water for 10 minutes to activate the cooling crystals and wear as a headband. All right, so yeah, if you're out in the wild, or you're shooting a three gun that you're getting really damn hot and overheated. This is something that's pretty cool. This is a woodland camouflage. Look at that. You got a little Ziploc bag in there. And there's some little crystalettes, I guess. Pretty cool bandana deal. I was gonna have to give that to my son to wear during football practice, but I might have to keep that myself. <laughs> All right, put that away. Uh, what is this? Let me, when I got my thing here. This is, check that out. Ooh, this is the, what do we have here? This is the Gerber. This is made by Gerber. Where are you? Controller Filet Knife System. $40 MSRP designed to clean, smooth cuts, and flexible blade that provides just the right amount of give. Guide fins, a tactile hydro tread grip. Okay, let's open this up. Let's take the non-tactile Microtech. 
<laughs> Pull that out. This is pretty cool stuff. That, ladies and gentlemen. You know what's interesting is I used to work in a federal building. They wouldn't let anybody in there with uh, like a pocket knife. But we had projects going on and guys would have the drywall cutting keyhole knives. And I'd rather have that than a knife any old day. God dang. Okay. Yep, she's shaving. That's pretty sharp. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to let my kid have that because look at that thing. That is nice. All right, you've got a sheath here. It's in there. Let's just cut it open. You guys, KB cuts his hand off doing box opening. All right, you got the sheath. You do have a sharpening stone on there, diamond. I put this thing away before I cut myself. But anyway, that's pretty cool, man. Um, now, what else do we have here? A Voodoo Tactical BDU wallet. I think I have. Look at that. That's pretty cool. You've got places to put the pins in. I'm a big fan of the uh, Voodoo Tactical folks. Let's see. You've got a nice little uh, tether line right there. Let's see. That's pretty cool. What does something like that normally go for? Voodoo Tactical. This is about 15 bucks. BDU wallet. I don't know how much it'll go for on uh, Amazon, but the, anyway, nice little American flag. And you got a little area here to put some stuff here in the front. That's nice. Okay, very cool. Let's put them back over there. What else we got in this box? All right. Ooh, well, wait a minute. Remember, I was talking about bobbers or floats. There you go. That's it. So you've got, uh, what do we got? Floats. I've got weights. I've got hooks. I've got a line so we can tether it. What is this? Voyager Select Okuma. Pretty cool. There's a bag. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Let's see. <laughs> okay. This is a fishing rod. Look at that, man. Got a little spinner. Uh, and I, you know what's interesting? We've got that's it. Huh. All right. So we've got on here a nice little fishing rod. Not sure what goes where. That goes down there. Next size. Right here. Da -da 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 -da. I got the air conditioning running in the back over there just because it's about 100 degrees outside. We are not ready yet for fall, it appears. I can't wait for fall. All right, so we got ourselves a nice little fishing rod here. Da -da. Not bad. I wouldn't take this out to the ocean. But for fishing in the uh, stream, if you need it, yeah, why not? Here we go. Boom. One thing we're missing, though. I learned how to fish when I was about a, when I was a child. Okay, so we got a bunch of paper and stuff in there. But uh, let's see. I have that. I got the weights, I got hooks with a little bit of fishing line, I got a bandana, and I got some really cool, this thing, but the one thing we don't have, <laughs> fishing line. So we'll just set that over there until we get some fishing line, but anyway guys, uh, that's it for this month's box. That was pretty cool. Um, so we got an eagle call, snailed hooks. Claw sinkers, Gerber controller knife, uh, poly stringer, Danielson bobbers, the Voodoo tactical wallet. That kind of that make a whole lot of sense, but okay. Multicam Cordana. So we got uh, the fishing rod is 90. Uh, it's got an Altera reel. That's pretty cool, man. Maybe the fishing line is somewhere else, and I'm just not seeing it. Huh, enter. Well, wait a minute here. Hold on. Nope. 
Never mind, that's where that thing tightens up. Okay, so we need some fish in the line. Uh, overall, we've got $40, $43, $45, $46, $47, $48, $49, $50, $51, $52, $53, $54, $55, $56, $57, $58, $59, $60, $70, $71, $72, $73, $74, $75, $76, $78, $79, $80, $90, $91, $92, $93, $94, $
yeah, I think the uh, level two is 99, the other one's 49.99. But so far we've got $70 worth of stuff. Right here, this is a 21 inch friction lock baton with sheath from the guys over there at Rothko. I like Rothko, they do a pretty good job on the stuff that they make. Well, anyway, we've got a sheath right here and one of these guys. <laughs> Whack. Okay, so I saw this earlier. I've actually opened this box and I was like, honey, I'm going to give you this. And let's see if I can do it if it's not on concrete. There we go. Outstanding. All right, but my wife can keep this in her purse. She doesn't want to carry a gun or mace or anything else. At least she can bash the living snot out of somebody. And she can, she can fight. Okay, what else we got? We've got the mask. We have that. Ah, this is interesting because I just finished testing out some armor from the guys over there at uh, Premier Body Armor. So this is from Vism. Vism. Let's see. Let's look at the word on this guy. Okay, this is a level two. Level two features the only exceptional item this month. We've been told that was a first subscription box to include plate carrier. Very nice. And is this a plate? Let's see here. Okay. Ballistic panel for pistol calibers only. Only. Let me show you guys something. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Because I found this out on the previous one. Uh, this is the Fort Scott Munition. And we'll go ahead and get rid of this. This is just 124 grain right here. And... Uh, and I'm not doing this to make anybody look bad, but uh, this is level 3A. This is supposed to be up to 44 caliber. Uh, 44 Magnum won't go through this. If it's a real deal, level 3A. Uh, matter of fact, let's do this right now. Hold on. Hold the phone. All right, so we're sitting here. I've got a uh, what used to be a five-gallon water bottle sitting out there just as a prop. And what we're going to do, we're going to do this right here. Watch. Did y'all see that? Hold on. All right, we don't even get a chance to shoot the Fort Scott at it. Look at this. Well, it went in it, went in, but nothing came out. That's pretty cool. It is, uh, it's a little different from the guys over there at Premier that I just tested. I can actually see the bullet in there.